it's Sailor Heather here, and today we are going to be talking about, yes, we are talking about menstrual cups. <laughs> and if you follow me on Snapchat, you have been wondering and wanting to know more about this little guy and how it has changed my life for the better. I wanted to make this video only because since it's changed my life, why not educate and let it maybe change yours? Before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know if you have a little queasy stomach or if you get a little grossed out. Um, you might not want to watch this video. No, I'm not going to be doing anything kind of graphic or anything. I'm just letting you know what our lady parts down there are all about using this guy. But just, it's really nothing to get grossed out about. It is our female anatomy and it's basically how God made us. It just, I wish I had somebody teach me this when I was younger, at a younger age. So let's get into it. So there will be a giveaway. Um, I have used two different types of menstrual cups from two different companies that worked really well for me and they are the Diva Cup and Scoon Cup so for more information just stay tuned this menstrual cup for about six months now I didn't realize how popular it was in other countries other than our own after doing a lot of research I realized that it's been said to cause less cramps um, shorter periods um, no TSS, um, you can exercise on it, and it's leakage free. I mean, there were so many positive things going on with this guy that um, a little personal history with me, um, with tampons and pads, it was, it was always an issue for me, only because I have a bit of a heavier flow, and <laughs> my cycles are a bit um, not on the regular. <laughs> guys can be a little bit intimidating so you know at first it was sort of um, uncomfortable but then after I got into it and when it comes to my body anything I put into my body I do a lot of thorough research so after consulting with my gynecologist um, this guy has been wonders and has been um, a life changer Pons and pads these guys I always had to use the Super Plus only because, like I said, I do have a heavier flow because I think I produce a lot of eggs. No, I'm just joking. Guy works. So, <laughs> I made a little cute little display and I'm going to show you how this guy works. Okay, pretend this is the vaginal wall. And this in here is your cervix, if you can see. That is your cervix. So there are two different sorts of folds. One, I think, is called a U-fold. Squeeze the cup flat, then fold it in half so that the rim makes a U-shape. The other one is the push-down method, which I prefer uh, more, only because it kind of tends to become like a, a tampon shape kind of form it's easier to stick in. We're going to fold it on the push down method like so and then we are going to enter it into the vagina just like so and it's going to pop in place and it's going to create this suction uh, barrier on um, the wall and all you have to do is make sure um, it's tugged. Like you'll be able to notice that it, you know, it won't go anywhere. And to show you um, with a little demonstration, hopefully I don't spill this. Let's try it this way. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> that worked a little bit. So you see how there's it's a little leakage free. Um, the barriers on the wall, it's not going anywhere. And you know that smell right before um, you know our when we get in our period, how the blood hits the oxygen, how it creates that coppery kind of smell. Well, with this, um, with the menstrual cup, the scoon cup, it there's no leakage, so there won't be that kind of smell. So um, when you think about it, it's kind of healthy. It, it kind of keeps our body in balance. So I'm going to demonstrate how to take it out. 
Um, what I do is I kind of grab it from the stem from my thumb and the other part is my forefinger. So I kind of twist it like so. Out. And I just dump it in the toilet. <laughs> just like that. It's just that simple. And um, there might be leak. There might be some leak. Only if you don't put the menstrual cup in sooner when your period does start. But other than that, there should be no mess. And after you dump this, you want to clean it um, with a non-fragrant soap. And definitely wash your hands each and every time. And after you dump it, you clean it, wash your hands, and uh, use no fragrant soap. You don't want to wear down the silicone with any fragrance kind of soap and you just put it back in there the same way I demonstrated before. But I take it out twice a day, so six hours. So compared to a tampon and pad, it's a lot different. Um, this actually is said to change it in 12 hours. So that's actually amazing compared to someone like me who has a heavier flow. I use this. Um, I dump it out before I go to bed and then um, when I wake up I dump it out again so it only I only do it twice and you'd be surprised it for me being an a heavy flower this thing will probably only fill up to like uh, this much and that's a lot compared to having to change it from tampons to pads this can last up to two years so just think about it between how much it costs to spend money every day on pads um, versus tampons and how much we use it every day compared to just having to use this once every two years. Come on, like that's amazing. They come in two sizes and this is a size one for people who haven't given birth yet and me being a heavy flow sort of person. Um, this was the perfect size for me and I've never given birth so I wouldn't know about the second one and if you're like me and grew up in like a traditional Asian American or Asian household my mama really didn't okay this is this was my first experience when I first encountered my first period I was on the couch at my home and I woke up and I bled through the couch and I started screaming and I was yelling at my mom like oh my god you know what's happening to me super scared out of my mind and my mom was like Heather oh my gosh you bleeding get out the couch go to the bathroom clean yourself up and she wouldn't explain to me you know I was just this little kid who was like what's going on and my mom just just yelling at me telling me that I've ruined the couch and not explain to me why what is happening to your body is natural so um, my whole experience with my my lady bits is different compared to American household where my Asian mother kind of grew up to um, for me kind of learning on my own so it was kind of different and I had a wish that I had seen somebody like this letting me know that it is okay to um, have a heavier flow, to use something that will benefit you and that you know just everything is going to be okay and <laughs> I'm not throwing shade at my mom, I love my mom to death but um, like I said traditional customs are different me putting this video out is letting you know how beautiful your body is and how amazing you can keep it healthy. So I hope this video helped you uh, educate yourself a little bit about your female anatomy and how it is okay to you know, go into the unknown to figure out how things work down there and to just feel comfortable with your body. For the egg giveaway, I have these two different kind of menstrual cups. One is the Diva Cup and one is the Spoon Cup. I'm a little biased towards the two, but um, all you have to do to be able to get these guys is to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and um, leave your Twitter information and your Instagram, you know, just to get to know you guys. So it's just going to be one for each, so you don't get both of these guys, you just one for each person. So next week I'm going to try to bring you guys with me in the ocean. So we'll see how that goes. So I'll see you in my next video. This is Heather, logging out. This is